The unusually long life cycle of the current console generation has left developers of sports franchises in a tough predicament. How to keep an annual series fresh while dealing with the limitations associated with aging technology. For its eighth season on Xbox 360 and seventh on PlayStation 3, the developers enlisted the help of one of basketball's living legends, Jay-Z. Okay, maybe he isn't the first Jay that comes to mind when you think basketball, but if you're going to solve the problem of keeping your game relevant, you turn to someone with plenty of experience dealing with problems. While NBA 2K13 is executive produced by the music mogul, Jay-Z's influence doesn't seem to go much farther than the music and some minor presentation elements. Instead, NBA 2K13's design philosophy is about integrating the play modes and online component into a more cohesive whole. One of the keys to this is a new virtual credit system that lets you earn coins while playing games. The developers are taking a few pages from the EA playbook, as you can use real-life currency to help pad your basketball bank account. Each shot, assist, rebound, and other milestone earns you credits that can be used to purchase clothing items and abilities to personalize your created player. You'll also spend virtual credits on the game's online-focused My Team mode, which is also inspired by EA, specifically the lucrative Ultimate Team mode from the publisher's suite of sports games. The My Team mode has you using trading cards to build a team and challenge other created teams in an attempt to reach the number one seed within a span of 12 games. To fill out your squad, you can purchase booster packs containing five random items from three tiers, bronze, silver, and gold. You'll unlock current or legendary players, court surfaces, jerseys, boosts, team playbooks, and even head coaches. The addictive part of this system is not knowing what you might get, potentially giving you an advantage during the competition. There's also a welcome amount of strategy associated with setting your lineup for a particular game. Once you've filled out your roster, you'll have to pay each player a set number of credits, with better players requiring more coin. The best players, like a gold LeBron James or Kobe Bryant, can be purchased separately, but their value may fluctuate over time depending on their real-life performances. To earn more credits without opening up your wallet, you can play offline exhibition games within the My Team menu or play any of the other game modes. The My Player mode from previous games is now integrated into the My Career mode, where you'll attempt to impress scouts in the Rookie Showcase to determine your player's draft position in the NBA. My Player is now a unified profile system of sorts, where you'll be able to see your record, current credit balance, lifetime earnings, and closet of clothing and accessories you've purchased. One of the more interesting changes to the Create a Player system is that you can pick and choose from a pool of 33 signature skills for some added personality. Each skill typically gives a boost to stats like shot percentage or pass efficiency and are divided into offense, defense, and other. The microwave skill, for instance, has your player getting hotter faster, providing a temporary boost to attributes while hot. A corner specialist, on the other hand, will receive a boost to his shot percentage while attempting a three-pointer in the corner. Most of the modes are identical to last year's title, with a few added tweaks and refinements. Once again, you can play as or against classic players, with over 30 historical teams included from 1964 to 2001, each of which can now be taken online. New to NBA 2K13 is the inclusion of the two All-Star Olympic teams, 1992's Legendary Dream Team and 2012's Men's National Team, as well as a celebrity team with the likes of Bow Wow, Pauly D, and Justin Bieber. Who needs Mike when you can be like Bees? NBA 2K13's gameplay has seen a significant change in the on-court controls, which manages to completely change the game's feel and flow. Now players can use the right analog stick to perform dribbling moves, which when paired with the left analog stick for body movement, feels closer to the actual mechanics of the sport than in any previous game in the series. More importantly, the basic moves are intuitive. You'll be able to perform crossovers, hesitations, and spins as you'd expect by rocking, nudging, or twirling the analog stick. The shot stick hasn't disappeared, but it's now activated by holding the left trigger as a modifier. Needless to say, the transition takes some time to get used to. But once you've got a feel for what you can do with the offense, it's unlikely the old revert back to the old control scheme. While the controls have really opened up the offense and offer a surprising amount of freedom, playing tight defense feels far more challenging, perhaps because there are more ways for the ball carrier to separate from coverage. Contact has been dialed back from last year's game, and getting defensive rebounds is unusually difficult. The offensive team often magically grabs the ball back on errant shots, to the point where boxing out players doesn't seem to matter. Tipped and deflected passes also seem fewer than in previous games. 
The computer AI is generally excellent, however, with players possessing the same skills and traits as their real-life counterparts, and teams adhering to their playbooks and altering strategies as the game unfolds. Fatigue is now more of a factor than in earlier games, and those who try to overcompensate for slower players by blasting the sprint button will find their players react much more sluggishly, as it should be. Online games are smooth and easy to get into, though there are some strange glitches every now and then, such as the scoreboard mysteriously disappearing during games. Do you like Kanye West and Jay-Z? If so, then you'll enjoy NBA 2K13's predominantly hip-hop soundtrack. There are also new music video style intros before each game, and a noticeable increase in the amount of gold flourishes, decorative lines, spotlights, and speakers adorning the menu screens. It's flashy, maybe even a little garish, but it's not intrusive. The on-court visuals are dressed to impress. While character models still show some jagged edges here and there, particularly around the shoulders, movements are extremely fluid and more diverse thanks to the new control scheme. Special emphasis was placed on improving the animations after a basket, so players will now look more alert on the hardwood instead of acting like mindless drones. The broadcast team of Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, and Steve Kerr, and sideline reporting by Doris Burke, once again manages to seamlessly string together pertinent team information, player-specific observations, and humorous anecdotes in between the play-by-play. -play. Looks kind of sharp and snappy from where I'm standing. <laughs> Since there's back-and-forth banter between the announcers, it adds a huge amount of realism and excitement to the game. The camera work, energetic crowds, pre-game rituals, and stat overlays also contribute to the television-like presentation. Man, it's been way too long. While the shift towards having more control on offense has left the defensive game a bit out of step, NBA 2K13 is still highly entertaining overall, offering enough changes to keep players interested in starting another career, season, player, or franchise. The Me Too inclusion of trading cards is out of character for 2K Sports, which is usually an innovator in the space, but it's welcome nonetheless. If you're looking for a round ball game that looks great and plays even better, you can't go wrong. It just needs a little less Jordan and a lot more Barkley. See this and other GT shows and game reviews on the GT Originals iOS app, available now on the App Store.